As a nation, India is a very young nation and we are becoming increasingly young. Today it is estimated that two-thirds of our population is below 40. In the developed countries, the profile is quite different. A higher proportion are older people. Our relative youthfulness could portend a major leap forward, provided that our youth has given its head and not restrained in a rut. Unfortunately, even with a younger population profile, we seem to be stuck with older ways of thinking. There are exceptions, but by and large, our education system is still one of learning by rote. It develops very limited ambitions in our youth. It doesn't give a questioning mind. It doesn't develop an inquisitive spirit. It makes our youth imitative and not innovative. When we talk of developing India towards the 21st century, what we're really talking about is a change in the way we think and the way we act. To make India think boldly, think in a revolutionary manner, be assertive, be aggressive, yet not to lose the foundation of our ancient traditions and values. Our national objective is to reach the front rank of all nations. Today, we are trying to compress the development that took place in other countries over perhaps 200 to 400 years into, 40, into four or five decades. We have in some ways reversed the process. In the West, a renaissance in thinking with all its successes and its failures, all its positive points and all its contradictions came about long before the Industrial Revolution. In fact, it fed the Industrial Revolution. In India, we have reversed it. We have stimulated an Industrial Revolution through government action, through specific policies, and it is from that Industrial Revolution that we are trying to bring about a renaissance in our thinking. It is not going to be easy. But whenever India has faced a challenge, the people of India have always risen to that challenge. This is the time to rise to this challenge and meet this challenge. We have to build a spirit of in inquiring exploration, of self-confident innovation, the spirit that prevailed in India during our golden ages, during the times when people from all over the world sought out India. In our golden ages, we weren't the top in arts and philosophy, in the science and technology of the time, in the development of our culture and the development of our civilization. We must bring India back to that pinnacle of development once again.